Hi everyone, Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. Steven Tedesco is behind that camera. The combatants today, U-66 versus USS Buckley. Let's take a look at this map and I will start the story. U-66 was a Type 9C or an IXC variant U-boat. It was larger than previous classes. It was meant for operations far from support facilities or auxiliaries. It was used along the East Coast and it was fitted with mines and torpedoes. There were 54 IXC boats constructed and amazingly out of the 54, only four survived. Most of them were sunk. Stephen, one of the interesting things is the IXC type What's another one of the four that were remaining? U-505 in Chicago. We were so there. We were talking about a boat that is in Chicago, the same uh, configuration as in Chicago. Here is a picture of the U-66. And she served from May 1941 through her sinking in May 1944. USS Buckley. Buckley class uh, destroyer escort, one of 102 constructed, commanded by this guy right here, Commander Brent Abel. So what are we looking at here? So the U-66 had nine war patrols, she was sank on her ninth war patrol. This map was from one of the navigation officers or enlisted crew that was donated to the Buffalo Naval Park in 2010. So if the provenance is right, this was the map that was used, an overall map, a general map, of the war patrols of U-66. I'd like to highlight some things that Stephen has already shown. Look at that, right here, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Again, the Type 1 XCs were meant for long distance duties along the east coast of America. And you can see that she sank five vessels off of North Carolina. Now when you think of the transportation for the Battle of the Atlantic, you're getting uh, oilers coming from Texas. You're getting oilers coming from New Orleans. You're getting oilers and merchant ships coming from Florida. And they hug the coast eventually getting up to New York, and then they would take the route across to England. So the Germans knew that this was a nice uh, killing ground for them of merchant vessels. So again, coming from Texas, the caravan would come from New Orleans, uh, Florida, up the eastern seaboard to New York where they would be fitted out and loaded, and then across the Atlantic to England. So we see that there are five sinkings here across Cape Hatteras. And if you go to the Wikipedia page, right, which I did, <laughs> uh, they list five sinkings off Cape Hatteras. There's the American tanker, the Allen Jackson. There is the RMS Lady Hawkins, which was a passenger ship converted uh, to a troop transport and uh, store ship. There's a Panamanian tanker, the Olympic. There's the British motor tanker, the Empire Gem, and the American merchant ship, Venor. All right, now they list a tanker. They, sometimes they don't have the names correct, but there's the five, and the, uh, coinciding with the five I listed. Her fifth war patrol, that was her fourth war patrol. Her fifth war patrol was down here in the Caribbean Sea. All right, we do see some names that coincide. There is the Corinthian, which is probably the Greek merchant ship, uh, Corthion, all right, Corinthia. There is a tanker, a Dutch tanker that they don't have the name for, but it was Dutch tank, tanker Amsterdam. Then they have the Heinrich von Dietermann, all right, interesting. That was a, Panam uh, a Panamanian, or from Panama, if I'm getting it, Panamanian motor tanker as well. All right, so they list that with the proper name. All right. 
and the U.S. merchant ship Alcoa Partner. Obviously, Alcoa being the aluminum and steel uh, conglomerate here in America. So you can see there's Oberlieutenant Gerhard Seehausen. He was the commander pitting against Brent Abel during this uh, action. And you can see it right here, U.S. Buckley and U-66. And that was on the 6th of May, 1944. So, U-66, from this picture, which was a few months beforehand, was, was uh, being refueled and getting provisions from U-17. And during this action in August of 43, this would be the last picture of U-17, as it went down shortly after this picture. All right, but U-66 escaped, all right, and then survived until May 6th of 44. All right, the action includes the Buckley ramming U-66. All right, they met in this part of the Atlantic. She rammed her, bent her, uh, bent her bow pretty severely, and if you look at the, uh, the title screen for this, you'll see that picture when they're back in dry dock in Boston. So they steadfast. They had a hard time breaking away from each other. And so what happened was the, uh, the German Oberlieutenant decided to create a diversion, and he had some guys try to climb up the forecastle of the Buckley while breaking away from the Buckley herself. And so there was hand-to-hand -hand fighting, there was uh, gun fighting on the forecastle of the Buckley. Eventually, she ran away. She was able to break away from uh, USS Buckley, and then the Buckley got out her three-inch guns and starting, started uh, peppering U-66 with the three-inch guns. So the Oberlieutenant probably knew that the ship was lost, he decided to ram the Buckley, so instead of the Buckley ramming U-66, he reversed it and rammed on the starboard side of the Buckley, um, damaging, but not breaking, the starboard propeller. He then scuttled the ship. 24 uh, Kriegsmarines went down with uh, U-66, including the captain, 36 were rescued. So the provenance of this map was it came from guys that served aboard the Buckley. So they must have captured this map. Uh, to my knowledge, it is, uh, it, we have it on display here in the museum building. And to my knowledge, it is a true map. Um, other than that, we don't have much else. Now, we do have a plaque that says it's a gift from the USS Little Rock Association in May 2010. Uh, the paperwork in our records show that it was actually from the Buckleys. So maybe the USS Little Rock Association framed it for us. All right. But the Buckley must have had a reunion here in uh, Buffalo Naval Park, and uh, it was donated to us then. So, uh, Commander Brent Abel received and was awarded the Navy Cross. Uh, he had gone to Harvard uh, University and then Harvard Law School and became a lawyer for the rest of his life, just passing away uh, in the 2010s at the age of 89. So uh, he was a pretty revered guy because he also has been, was known to treat those 36 German prisoners uh, with respect. and. Uh, he, he became very well known for the way he treated his prisoners before disembarking them. All right, so when you come to the Buffalo Naval Park, you can look at this map, you can see off Cape Hatteras, and then various other places as well. We've got the SO Gettysburg, which I read in the reports that they had sank there, uh, probably off South Carolina or Georgia. All right, so the X, so the IXC types were able to come all the way across the Atlantic and do some damage uh, for the routes that the tankers and merchants would take from the south, hugging the coast up to New York and then over to England. Thanks so much. Please leave comments, uh, questions, uh, 
and thank you for your support. Thanks for our, to our subscribers, thanks to our members, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon.